welcome back to my channel. This is my uh, late review for No Escape. This movie stars Owen Wilson, Pierce Brosnan, and Blake Bell. Uh, for the most part, this is a suspense movie. What it is about, it's about a father going to get a job in the country. And, well, you know, we've seen it thousands of times where they get into this country, the guy's going to get a job, a civil war is happening, people are getting killed, riots are starting, um, and uh, the foreigners, all the foreigners in this country are being uh, slaughtered. Uh, this movie, what it did, okay, what, did, what this movie did really well was it, it, it brought out the suspense and the intensity of every scene very well. It did that very well. It was handled very, very, very good. That was one of the ups about this movie. The acting, um, I thought the acting was great. I thought the acting was fine overall. I mean, Owen Wilson, you know, he did what he could. He played a good fatherly figure. Um, you know, he wasn't no badass or nothing. I mean, when there were situations that were, uh, the odds were stacked against him, I mean, he looked like he was going to lose. Um, you know, those, those, those moments, and I'm very thankful for that because they didn't need to go over the top of this movie. I mean, um, the guy didn't need to be throwing people off building. Let me get to that. Now, there's a lot of stupid uh, scenes in this movie. I mean, when I say that, I mean very sloppy written. Um, I don't think... I, I know what they mean by when they were throwing... I mean, it's in the trailer, so if you didn't know. There's a scene where they take these girls and they throw them to another rooftop, and I, from how it was presented, that scene could have been very intense and very, very, uh, very good. But I didn't think it was necessary to do that in slow-mo. And there's a lot of slow-mo moments in this movie, which I don't think are necessary um, at all, actually. Um, overall, though, it, this is a movie that you're going to go see for the intensity and the suspense. And I gotta say, this movie does that very, very well. I was on the edge of my seat at points, and the people who are uh, killing the foreigners, I mean, this group of, you know... Um, uh, people are very intimidating at points. They're scary. You don't want to be in their way when they're going and doing their business. I mean, they're just a scary group. It's, uh... And I'm not a big fan of these types of movies. So, uh, but for me, when I went into this movie, it just, it... I know I'm kind of sounding like I'm kind of bashing it, and I know I'm not really talking like all enthusiasm, but there, this movie kind of bored me in a lot of ways, and um, it, 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 it didn't deliver like you wanted it to by the end of it. I, I found it sloppy at some points. I found the directing not too good. Uh, this is the guy who did uh, As Above, So Below and um, Devil, and I'm a pretty big fan of both of those movies. Um, but I, I think... I think what he was trying to do with this movie, it, it got through, but uh, it got through a little bit. I mean, it's not a terribly horrible movie. I'm not saying it's a terrible movie by any means necessary, but it certainly am uh, It was like Hitman for me. Hitman was a letdown in a way. Could have been something very special and great, especially when you have Owen Wilson starring in this movie. Um, it, you had a lot of potential. Uh, he did, and Owen Wilson did play a good role. He was he was fine as the main lead. I didn't. He held the movie pretty well. Um, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He held it nicely. Um, Pierce Brosnan, you know, he's on the front of the the mat. He's on the front of the poster and everything, but he's not in the movie as long as you want him to be. He's playing, you know, this guy who drinks. He's a drinker. He get, sings karaoke. I mean, he's a partier. But he's also a very, very, very wise person, and uh, secretly he knows how to kick ass. But he's not in the movie as long as you want him to be, which I think is a waste of character. And who could have been very, very awesome and memorable. And uh, he wasn't ended that much, maybe like 10 minutes tops through the whole movie. Maybe 20 minutes. And But I don't know why they put him on the front cover, I guess just to sell tickets. I mean, he's a very big named actor, so... Um, overall, this is not a bad movie. It bored me at some points. It was sloppy written at some points, but the suspense and the intensity does build during the scenes. I will give it that. It, it's very nicely directed during those scenes. Slow-mo, you maybe didn't need it. Um, the intensity of these guys who are killing these foreigners, that's, that's intense. The acting is top-notch. I mean, it's good acting. I'm not going to say it's bad. The little girls annoy me at some points. I mean, there's just some moments where they just scream randomly. And you're like, oh, you gotta shut up, you know, shut up. And they're screaming for no reason. I mean, I understand that they're kids, but they're screaming every second almost. And it's just it's like, you're going to get yourself caught and you're going to get killed. That's how it happens. Why would you scream? And they should get to the point. People are dying. Keep your kids quiet. And that kind of annoyed me. And there's a lot of flaws in the movie, too, like points that weren't made too clearly. Like, there was a scene where uh, the Owen Wilson's character had to, uh, this ain't going to spoil none. There's a scene. A scene with a pool on top of a building and Owen Wilson's character has to go get his daughter 
but he needs like a map to get to the pool. How does the how did the daughter manage to get up to the pool without a map? And it takes her dad so long to get there. It made no sense. It really didn't. I don't know how it happened. It's just weird. It's one of some, there's a lot of those moments where you're like, how is that possible? If they can do that, well, this guy can't do that without this. And there's a lot of those moments. Uh, a couple moments, actually. Um, but overall, this ain't a bad movie. I bore me at some points, as I said. I'm going to give this movie. I know I'm bashing on it, and I know it's. I'm, I'm talking like I'm not caring that much, but it's just that there wasn't that much enthusiasm with this movie for me after I watched it. Um, I'm going to overall give it a C. It's not a bad movie, but still could have been way worse. By all means, it could have been way worse. Um, uh, yeah, see. So guys, that was my review. I didn't really sound enthusiasm about it, but that's because the movie didn't really excite me. I didn't come here and enthralled, but I wanted to give my opinion out. And it's a... How do I say it? It's a decent watch. It's, it's not gonna... It's not gonna be a waste of your time like, you know, some movies that came out are, but it's a, it's a C-rated movie. Guys, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on No Escape. Are you guys interested in seeing it? Do you guys even care? Let me know down below. You know, follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on MoviePilot.com. Be friends with me on Facebook. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe.